Hello everyone. Today we are here to discuss about one of the major important topic of artificial intelligence, which includes data analytics and global health. So what will actually be the table of contents? The table of contents goes like this, data analytics, types of data analytics, integration of data analytics in global healthcare, data analytics assistance in advanced research, global health case study, and what are the references? So first of all, what are basically the four important types of the healthcare data analytics, which includes descriptive analytics, understanding of the historical trends, predictive analysis, forecasting of the future, discovery analytics, determining what to what will what will happen actually next, and pre prescriptive analysis, unearthing of the new strategies. So data analytics, data analytics is the collection, transformation, and organization of the data in order to draw the conclusions, make predictions, and drive informed decision making. It is often confused with data analytic analysis. It is a subcategory of the data analytics that deals specially with extracting of the meaning from the data, which includes data science, using of the data to theorize and forecasting and data engineering, which can actually be a four major important types. Descriptive analysis basically tells what actually happened, diagnostic, why something happened, predictive, what will actually likely happen in the future and prescriptive, how to act. Now, descriptive analytics uses of the data from the past to provide up the insights around the trends or benchmarking, usually in the form of data dashboard. While descriptive analytics helps to understand what actually happened in the past, it is unable to provide strong insights to influence of the future health outcomes or provide outsides. Diagnostic ones basically helps to analyze of the raw data to determine of the interconnections, patterns, and outlines. It basically helps to understand what we actually need to explore further, but raw data can actually be completely incomplete or inaccurate, limiting up its usefulness. And predictive analysis basically helps in order to basically predict of the different determining and what is likely to happen in the future. It, it is basically unable to provide the insight into what might actually happen after an intervention or any other particular change is actually been caused. And prescriptive analysis basically suggests a course of action or a strategy that has to be actually followed up by the person in numerous inputs. It actually helps to understand what the effects of a specific action will actually be, but the inherent uncertainty and limited maturity of this particular type of analytics would actually lead to implementing of the suboptimal actions. Now, integration of the data analytics in the global healthcare. The healthcare industry basically generates up a tremendous amount of data but struggles to convert up the data into a insights which, which is responsible for improving of the patient outcome and operational efficiencies. That is why data analytics in the case of healthcare has actually been intended to help up the providers overcome all the particular obstacles which can actually be making up the healthcare data easier to share among the colleagues, providing accurate data driven forecasting in real time to allow the healthcare providers to respond more quickly, enhancing up the data collaboration and innovation among the healthcare organization to convert up the analysis ready data into business ready information by automating low impact data management tasks. Now, what are actually the key uses of healthcare analytics? It basically helps to understand of the performance, benchmarking, performance management, improving of the quality, advanced research, and managing of the risk and reporting. In the case of advanced research, it's basically helping up in clinical research, clinical guidance and development, registry-based clinical trials, post-marketing surveillance. Whereas in the case of managed risk and reporting, it is basically helping up in financial risk reporting, value-based reimbursement programs, and regulatory reporting. The tools which are basically been used up in analytics basically follow up in three major important categories. The software which are basically resp requ responsible for acquiring of the data which includes the patient surveys, case files, machine to machine data transfer, programs that clean, validate and analyze of the particular data to specific research question and software that basically helps up in by building up the results of the analysis to suggest various type of actions. The ability of the data analytics to convert up the raw healthcare data into actionable intelligence is basically been expected to have greater impact on some of the major important areas of healthcare which includes research and production of diseases, early detection of diseases, prevention of unnecessary doctor visits, discovery of the new drugs, more effective sharing of the patient data, and personalization of the patient care. Examples, use of the data analytics in the case of clinical setting in the case of library of molecular data, for example, Tempus. Tempus is basically one of the major important AI software that is responsible for giving up the healthcare professionals a clear insight of a cancer's patient unique data. It basically helps in order to conduct up the lab reports, clinical notes, radiology, and pathological images, which can actually be completely interpreted by the oncologist to help them personalize up the patient's treatment. Six worldwide applications of the healthcare data analytics includes researching up the cures for cancer, conducting up early disease detection, improving up the patient documentation, delivering up the telehealth services, removing up the human blast for better outcome, human bias for better outcomes, and managing the financial errors and the risk. Data analytics assistance in the case of advanced research. Now, research that data analytics has basically been one of the major important uh, steps that is basically helping in order to basically fight against the health problems in the global population. 
Data scientists from Blue Cross Blue Shield and analytics firm like Fuzzy Logistics have actually identified 742 risk factors that actually predict when a person is actually at a risk of abusing of the opioids. The Cancer Monshoot initiative that former President Barack Obama initiated and in second term relies on the advanced data analytics techniques to speed up the discovery of the cancer cures by identifying other trends. The research collaboration firm Optum Labs have actually created a database for more than 30 million EHRs, electronic health records, that data that doctors can actually access to support up their treatment decisions. The database is basically having up the complex uh, medical histories for all those particular patients who are actually suffering from multiple conditions. AI-based analytics basically help allow, allow the radiologist to basically read up all the particular images by the algorithms. Kaiser Permanent worked with Mental Health Research Network to analyze up the electronic health records and the results of standard depression questionnaire to identify the complete accuracy of the patients at a higher risk of attempting suicide. Now we come on to Global Health, a case study. The global wellness economy actually served from $5.6 trillion, marketing nearly 14% growth in 2019 to $8.5 trillion in 2007 as predicted. Okay. One of the major important agency, which is called to be Spellex, that was actually inaugurated in November 30th, 2021, based upon based uh, on Dubai's DIFC Innovation uh, Hub, emerges as a trailblazer in Middle East wellness backed insure sector. The types of data which is basically been leveraged by this particular company includes physical activity data, dietary information, mental health indicators, health media insurance utilization history, demographic information. In the case of physical activity data, we actually have gym check-ins or wearable devices, including of the frequency and intensity of the workouts. In dietary information, it actually includes meal tracking or dietary preferences. Mental wellness indicators actually involve, involves of the self-reported service of the app interactions related to stress management. Health metrics actually includes data which is basically been obtained from the wearable uh, tech, for example, the steps which are basically been taken, heart rate, sleep pattern, etc. Insurance utilization history, which basically includes the claims and the usage pattern to understand of the health risk. Demographic information includes the age, gender, occupation, which can actually influence of the health and wellness needs. Next, we come on to geographical data, which includes the environmental factors that are actually affecting of the health. Okay, key technology which is basically been leveraged includes data analytics, which basically includes the gym attendance and the health metrics from devices, for example, fitness trackers, tailored insurance patterns to in, uh, in which individual wellness habits. Artificial intelligence basically makes up the predictive analysis on healthcare trends, personalizing of the insurance offerings. Machine learning programs adapt and improve of the recommendations over time, learning from users' healthcare data. User influence design creates up an easy to easy to navigate platform, enhancing of the user experience. User interface design creates an easy to navigate platform, enhancing of the user experience and managing of the wellness and insurance activities. Mobile application technology basically allows of the user to track steps, log meals, and access insurance details in one particular app. These are some of the major important references that have actually been used. Thank you.